This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and we're here backstage at the 2009 Hoot Nanny with Ricky Rackman. How you doing, Ricky? Awesome. Good to be here. Now, tell me, what brings you out here to the Hoot Nanny? Like we were talking about, you've been here since the first Hoot Nanny. What do you love about it? Um, I love the whole culture. I love the hot rod culture. I ended up riding with a dozen people. We all rode old Triumph motorcycles here, and I love the bands that play here. I mean, I love Roots Rock and Roll. I've always loved Roots Rock and Roll my whole life. And uh, I'm also a fan of bands. I mean, the Super Suckers. I have probably seen the Super Suckers more than, maybe more than any band ever. I've been trying to think of the bands that I've seen the most in my whole life. And Super Suckers would be one of them. I've been a fan of that band forever. Reverend Horton Heat, the same thing goes as well. And uh, there's some of the bands that I've never seen before that I've always wanted to see. So it's a beautiful place. They do a great show and uh, good people hang out here. And I just have a blast. It's a great way to spend the 4th of July, isn't it? Much more fun than blowing parts of your body off. Yeah. So much more. Exactly. Now, now you are a legend in the L.A. club scene. When I opened the Cat House, I was just very lucky that the bands that seemed to call that club home were bands that ended up selling millions and millions of records. So I was just kind of right place, right time. I'd love to take credit for it, but no, the bands that were my friends at the time just happened to be really good bands. So. Do, you, do you think that you're that your public persona is misinterpreted by the... By was, was. Everything changed a lot lately now that I'm doing these reality shows like Daisy of Love and, and uh, you know, to the point Charm School, Rock of Love Reunions. I've got a, a whole... I don't like using the word fan, but I don't know another word to use right now, but I've got a whole different fan base now that it's kids that don't know me from anything. They've never seen Headbangers Ball and I've got like all these kids writing me on MySpace and it's, it's, it's really cool. It's like, you know, because in this career it's so easy just to be like a whatever happened to and I'm like was kind of even though I was working because I wasn't working in television I was a whatever happened to I guess and uh, and you know people always think of me as just the metal guy which I didn't necessarily like the stereotype of just being the metal guy but now that the Headbangers Ball has been off the air for so long and realizing how much that show meant to people that's also something that I'm very proud of as well why do you think that I mean what do you think of what's going on in music nowadays since you've seen the whole gambit I don't like what's going on in music today. Um, there's a dumb drunk girl dancing on the table right there. I just want you to all know that. She's going to fall, and then we'll all laugh at her crack skull. Okay, anyways. Um, very little excites me about new bands. I mean, I think the beauty with satellite radio is you pick a type of genre you want to listen to, and you just turn it on, and you'll listen to that. Even though I work in regular radio, don't everybody listen to satellite radio because it'll put me out of a job? But... Uh, but there's been nothing that's excited me. I mean, there's no new bands that I've said, wow, you know, I, I would wait in line to see them. Nothing. And I think the heart is gone, and I think people used to go to shows like, oh, who's playing at the Whiskey? I'm not sure, but let's go. Okay, now it's like, depending on what band is playing, they still won't go. You know, there is no real good live music scene, and, and I think that's a shame. Are there any new bands that you, that Ricky Rackwin would give his okay to? Oh, you're not going to like this answer. I'm like... I really like the band Slipknot. I love that band. I just think that band is so fun. Um, there's a few of the heavier bands that I like. Um, I like that band. Who else do I listen to? There's a local band called Prima Donnas that I heard. Yeah, they're good. They interviewed those guys. Oh, I like that band. Yeah, that's a that's the only look. That was a band that I saw. And like when I've seen everything, and I'm just like so freaking bored. That's why I come here because I like this type of music. And it's just, I mean, when I was a kid, I was going to, you know. Jimmy and the Mustangs and Rockin' Rebels, and those were the shows that I was going to more than the metal shows when I was a little kid. So uh, I like this because I like all the music. But as far as the, the local rock scene, I was just so freaking bored. And then I saw this band, Prima Donnas, I'm like, okay, here's another band. The guy busts out of sax. They're sounding kind of Hanoi Rocks, yeah. a little bit of, you know, New York Dolls. And then they gave me their record, and I listen to it all the time. And I'm not plugging them because I don't even know them. I just like that band. Have you seen the Horror Pops? That's the other band I have to see that everybody's been like, oh, are you into the Horror Pops? You into the Horror Pops? Because everybody tells me I will love them. And I've never seen them live. So I'm very excited about them, very excited about Three Bad Jacks. And, uh, I mean, like I said, most of the bands that, 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 I'm, that, I'm, that, are, that are playing tonight, I've seen a billion times. But it's 4th of July, and seeing the Super Suckers at 4th of July, come on. It's been great having you on the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show. Thank you so much, Ricky Rackman. The Blaring Out Show.